Hello, 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 everybody. What's up? So, here I am, Eve from East Creations Paint Party, going live, doing our creepy cornfield. That's right. How's my fam doing tonight? Hi, guys. Say hi. Let me know you're with me. Let me know who's painting. Let me know if anyone's painting with you. I got all this amazing art around me. I'm live at the track gallery. We're going to be having fun tonight. Lots of cool things. I'm surrounded by amazing art. We're going to make amazing art as a family, together, with me and you. Yes, it's Friday night. Let's get this party started. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Trying to get my camera situated. We got a little bit of a different setup tonight, so trying to make sure you guys can see the whole thing. There we go. Getting there, we're getting there. There we are. Whoops. That didn't work. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Hannah. Hi. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Dustin. Trying to situate my camera. Trying to situate my camera here. It fell over. <laughs> so, because we got a little bit of a different setup going on being at the gallery. A little bit of a different setup going on. Let's see if we can get this to where you guys can see. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Hannah. Hi, guys. There we go. That should work. Hello, hello, hello. So, get your stuffs together. Right? I got a different palette tonight. This is the palette I'm using tonight. The brushes. Hello. We got Big Boy. He's a one inch flat. Look at that nice brand new brush. You can have a brand new brush if you guys need a kit. They're a part of the kits, the brushes I use. Hey, hey, we got Mini-Me in the house. He looks just like Big Boy. That's all right, Lisa, no worries. But he's smaller. Hey, hey, Tammy, hey, Julia. And we have Tiny, he's for the details. So you're gonna put those in your water. You're gonna swirl. You're gonna tap, you're gonna dab on your paper towel. You want your bristles to be wet, but not dripping. Hey, hey, Tammy, hey, Julia, it's all good, Lisa, no worries. It's all good. It's all right, those things happen. Hey guys, look at all this amazing art around me. Oop, let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Look at that really cool piece right there. That's mine. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> low, low, low. So we're gonna switch this around. Hey, Pasha. That sounds great, Christina, no worries. It's all good. Hi, you're welcome. Hello, hello, Pasha. All right, Christina. Thanks for chiming in. You're going to watch with us tonight? Awesome. I love it. Hello, 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 everybody. So get your stuffs together. So all we need tonight is black, white, red, and yellow. I'm going to go pour my paint.
Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Lisa. Hi. Hi, Magna. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? <laughs> right, Lisa? Hi, Magna. Hi. Hey, hey, Lisa, Lisa. There's two Lisas in the house tonight. All right, I'm pouring my paint. Yeah, you got a big, great big blob. Nice, Julia. Great big blob. Magna remembers what it's called, a big blob of red blood. That's appropriate. We're doing creepy cornfield tonight. So I got my colors poured. That's all we're gonna need tonight. Julie got a great big blob of red. Ha ha, Julia. Making messes. Look, I got messes already too. Messes, messes, messes. Everybody say hi to Pasha. She's new to us tonight. Welcome Pasha to the family. That's right. Hello, Pasha. Dustin and Hannah are here. My man. Tammy and Julia, Lisa's are in the house. We got two Lisa's checking us out tonight. My friend Lisa from Track, who deals with this gallery a lot. And of course, my other Lisa, who does amazing artwork all the time. You are amazing, Lisa R. Christina's watching, she's in the house. Let me know when you guys are ready. I'm working on a 16 by 20. We're holding it long ways tonight. If you're working on something smaller, Adjust accordingly, because I go one hand up, two hands over. So you guys do what you need to do. Take a screenshot if you have to. I didn't give myself enough room to show you both things at once. And we'll get started. We'll get started, yes. Oh, you are so very welcome, Lisa R. I have to start calling you Lisa R, because Lisa C is in the house. You got a smaller canvas tonight? All right, that's cool. That'll work. Just adjust accordingly. If you're working on a smaller canvas, if I say one hand down, you know, you're only going to go a couple of fingers or two fingers or, you know, like when I say this area of the canvas, make sure that you're in your area for your smaller canvas. No worries here. No worries at all. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys this amazing wall of artwork going on. See that one in the corner? That one's mine. We've got all this amazing artwork from different people in our community. They do an amazing job. They are so cool. I had to switch the camera around because there's a couple of figurines in here. Looking good, right, Lisa? Looking good. All right, let me know when you guys are ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Got your screenshot? Make sure you got your screenshot. So, I'm going <laughs> to... Right? So good. 
I'm going to keep it kind of quiet tonight. I am uh, a little bit under the weather. I have myself a lovely sinus infection from my allergies. Right now I have copious amounts of medicine in me to get this started, all right? So if I start <clears throat> choking, don't worry. I'll be all right. I'll live. <laughs> Tammy and Julia are ready. That's what I like. Tammy, You're supposed to do all your cooking beforehand. We even got Lisa painting tonight. She's not cooking. And everybody, prayers for Lisa C. She's on here with us saying hello. Right? I know. I'm telling you. Hmm. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. I don't think so, Lisa C. I'll try not to. You got to be Lisa C because we got Lisa R in the house too. So, we need prayers for Lisa C's mom, guys. Lisa used to paint with us when we first, first, first started. And she's been so busy putting this amazing stuff together for track. Thank you, Magna. I really appreciate that. Call you Sif. All right, Sif is in the house. So, Sif. Used to paint with us all the time. And then she got busy taking care of some Tom's River Arts community stuff. Getting our name on the map. She's done a lot of work. A lot of hard work to put this gallery together. And uh, she's one of my girls right there. So, but we need prayers for her because her mom's not doing good. Alright guys? So alright family? Make sure you do some prayers for, Lisa, for Sif's mom. I can't complain with a sinus infection. Zip's mom's doing a little bit worse than me. So, hello, hello, hello. If you're painting, say hello. Let me know if you're ready. Julia's ready. You're welcome, babe. Julia's ready. Nobody else said they're ready yet, though. Come on. Lisa, are you ready? Pasha? Tammy, are you done heating up food? <laughs> Magnus probably ready. Dustin and Hannah are probably ready. You guys were born ready. I can't wait to see where you're going to put your little chihuahuas in this bad boy. I actually have to switch sides. I have to switch sides. Hold up. This is me switching sides. Uh, you're already mixing your orange together, Lisa. You're so funny. You're so funny. You like those colors to be a certain way. I just throw it on and see what happens. I'm actually going to be painting sitting down. This is me playing around with a table and chairs. But I had to turn the camera this way. Because even though we have some lovely art... On the wall behind me is some really cool art, but it's a little bit on the risque side, so we're going to leave that out of the video for all my youngsters out there that are painting with us. We're going to leave that out of the video, but I have to go on this side of the table because I don't paint lefty. <laughs> Magna's ready. Lisa's ready. I love it. <laughs> yes. Good old cat has her figure drawing paintings up in here. So we're going to face this way. <laughs> All right. And there's my artwork in the back. You guys see it? See that? That's Shopper Khan. Check that out. I really like that one. That's part of my artwork right there, guys. All right, guys, we're ready to go. Sounds good, so I'll tap that big boy. This is so strange for me. This is really strange, because number one, I'm sitting down. <coughs> so, very odd. And I'm in different surroundings, and if you just saw, I had to switch the whole table around. 
So, thank you, Lisa. Um, so, we're going to get through this, though, fam. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Hannah. And maybe later I'll show you a few more pieces that are hanging out in here. All right, Thrill Tap Dad, big boy. Thrill Tap Dad, big boy. And I've got these really, really awful paper towels that don't absorb water for anything. But we're going to try our best. We're going to get through this. Because Sif already said I can't die in the gallery. I'm not allowed. <laughs> but there's better light in here. There's better light than my house. And of course we miss the Butters. Mr. Butters isn't here with us tonight. So we're going to miss him. And maybe someday we're going to have people painting with us. That'll be cool. <coughs> Alright, so I'm grabbing Big Boy. What? The Big Boy. All right, Sif, whatever you just wrote, I can't comprehend any of that. We're going to grab some white. Remember, grab from your side so you don't waste all your paint. No, nope, don't clunk. So we're going to grab some white. We're going to grab a lot of white, some red, and some yellow. That's going to be our colors for this evening. Okay, so you want to go about one hand over. I'm dripping, great big globs of yellow. So about one hand over, give yourself a mark. You're gonna go a couple of fingers down, give yourself a mark. You're gonna find your halfway mark and then move it on over a little bit. So oh, find your center and then move it on over. And then you wanna go about two hands up. All right, so. That was one hand over, couple fingers down, two hands over from the side, or a little bit off your center, a um, little bit off your center, two hands up from the bottom, okay? Parentheses that, and parentheses that. Now, is it all right if you miss your marks a little bit? Absolutely. No worries here. So you want to grab a lot of white. A lot of white with just a little bit of those two colors, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of white, just a little bit of those two colors. And we're just going in a circular motion. So if your circle is all sorts of cattywampus, that's a technical term, by the way, cattywampus. I love painting with you guys, Tammy. You guys are awesome. So if your circle is a little cattywampus, my technical term, you got plenty of time to fix it right now. And I had you size it a little smaller than it needs to be because the more you play with it, the bigger it gets. Right, Dustin? Dustin likes when I say that. So I just grabbed a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red and a lot of white. And I am just going in a circular motion and making that big old moon that is in our painting. Lots and lots of white. Okay? Big old moon. And Lisa, Lisa R is probably sitting there still making all different sorts of orange colors. <laughs> Start painting, Lisa. <laughs> Hi, fam. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Sorry about the little table adjustment, but I was on the wrong side and we needed to switch this around. Just so we can just so we can turn around and stay kid friendly on here. Yeah, Tammy. Every Friday night I'm gonna be at the gallery now, so there's gonna be no more majority rules. It's just going to be one painting because I'm going to display it at the gallery for people to sign up. And I'm, make, I'm going to be doing the lives. And then, hopefully, we can get people coming in and painting with me during the lives. So we can all make fun of them together. <laughs> We're definitely going to get Sif up in here. Right, Sif? That's right. We're definitely going to get Sif up in here painting with her puppy, Pringle. 
He's so cute. All right, so if you notice, I just keep going in circular motion. Circle, circle, circles. And then if your circle is a little cattywampus, use the flat of that brush. You guys know how we do. You guys know how we do. I don't even know if my circle is, is a good circle or not. Oh, it's almost a good circle. See how much I worry about that? Because I know we could always go in. We could always go in and make it better. Like I said, I'm painting sitting down. I never paint sitting down. So this should be a pretty interesting experience. If you notice, I just stood up to be able to fix my circle. <laughs> <laughs> so but there's definitely better light in here you guys don't have to worry about my glare right all right so you should have played around with that enough to where you have this nice big moon going on so by the time I was done playing you remember those markings we did before so this is literally two fingers now this is like four fingers, and this is like a hand and a half, and this is about a hand high. <coughs> that was the chair squeaking. I got a squeaky chair. Chair squeaky. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, all right, so once you have that done for yourself, you're gonna grab more yellow, more red, and less white now. All right, more red, more yellow, less white. And you're gonna go back and forth around this moon. So, now I had a lot of extra white left on my brush, so I'm just gonna smear that off. See how I do? I had a lot of extra white on my brush. So you know what? I'm just going to smear that off. That's how we're going to do that. Now I'm grabbing my yellow, which is all messed up. My red, which is all messed up. I'm going to put plunking in my white. You guys know how I do a palette. Look. Look how messy I am. Whoop. And look at that big glob of yellow trying to get off. So less white. And now you're going to go back and forth. So what you want to do is kind of like just pull your brush around your moon to frame it out for yourself. Right? Just pull your brush around your moon. And this is where you also have the opportunity to fix it to make it a better circle. Alright, so just pull your brush around the moon. Grabbing that white, red, and yellow. Just pull that all the way around in a circle. And now that you have that framed out, look, I got a big old glob in there. What happens when you have globs on your brush, Julia? You get globs on your painting. That's what I'm doing. So, Pash, Pash is here tonight. Pash is joining us for the first time. Hello, hello, hello. So, And now, now that I have it all framed out, it'll be easy to go back and forth without worrying about coloring over my lines. Right? Now, what I gotta tell all you guys, you guys did so amazing with your pumpkin paintings. That's all I gotta say. The pumpkin witch paintings, oh my goodness. You guys did such an awesome job. I was looking at those and I was like, they're all artists now. I created all little monsters, especially yours, Magna. I'm telling you, you're gonna put me out of a job. Now, if you're putting your paint on and you can see through it, that's why you wanna add white to it, okay? So if you're putting your paint on your painting and you can see through it, add, add white. You know we're going over this again, so. And this is going to be horizontal. So you're going to do the horizontal, horizontal brush strokes. Horizontal. 
right? And I framed out my moon before so I don't have to stress. And I'm not worrying about my colors being perfect because we're going to do another layer over this. We're just getting some paint on the canvas. All we're doing. You guys got this. You guys got this. No problem. No problemo. So I am not worried about what colors I'm getting right now. Because I know we're going to paint over this. All I want to do is fill my canvas up. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do is fill my canvas up. And like I said, if you can still see through your colors, add more white. Yes, I know what's making peach and it's supposed to be orange. We'll get there. We'll get there. Look, I'm already standing. You see that? The sitting thing isn't lasting very long, is it? <laughs> Not lasting very long. That's all right. That's all right. And I went over my moon line. Of course I did. Of course I went over my moon line. So. Remember when we did the beach with the, the heart of the, the seagulls all in a heart? This is like the same colors as that. Gosh, that was so long ago already. That was so long ago. When I started this, I really didn't think I'd be doing these into October, but that's okay, because I got to meet all of you, so I'll keep doing these, because I like painting with everybody that's on here. I'm so mushy, right? I'm such a mush ball. And we have new members of our family joining us, and we have people that watch the replays, because they like that these paintings are what? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's right. That's right. You heard it here first, right, Tammy? All right. Now I'm going to fill in the bottom. I'm not going to worry about the bottom too much because that's going to be all with black. But we're going to fill it in anyway. And if you want to paint your sides, go right ahead. Go right ahead. And I'm just going to flip this over. And make life easier for myself to paint the bottom. paint the bottom. Some very strange music going on. It sounds like a video game. I think I said the lap that the last time this music played. Alright. So I'm um, all filled in. And since I messed up my edge of my moon a little bit, I'm just going to grab some of my white and yellow and red here with a lot of white. And I'm just going to go back in and re-put my shape. Since you know me, I color out of the lines all the time. So we're just going to go back in and fix that for myself. I'm probably going to have to fix this a few times, but that's okay. We don't mind. We don't mind. This is what happens. This is why I like painting. I don't have to worry about painting in the lines. Because I know I can always go back in and fix it. Well, no. Just like that. You did, Tammy? Thanks. 
That's awesome. Thank you so much. I did a Girl Scout, uh, it was a troop in Brick. I did a Girl Scout paint party in Brick on Monday. I'm going back for the adults on Monday. This Monday coming up. Let me move that back a little. You guys can see better. All right, so that's what we'll work with. Let me know when you guys are ready. And I'll show you what's next. Don't play with this. Because you need this to dry. So Lisa, stop playing with this. Leave it alone. And even being in the gallery, look, I already got paint on my shirt, on my arm. I get paint everywhere. And I had to bring my coffee with me. All right, so stop playing with this because we need this to be dry. All right, just fill in around it. If you want a little bit of a fix, that's fine, but then leave it alone, all right? We need it to be dry. And as we're waiting for that, hey, everybody, I'll walk you around, let you check some stuff out while some people are finishing that up. All right, so here's the one I showed you before. It was a unicorn painting, Tammy. That's exactly what I do with the Girl Scouts because that's their uh, mascot, something. I don't know what you call it. So here's a close-up, the one I showed you before. That's Chakra Khan. That's by yours truly. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. We have this over here. This is by my good friend Yvonne. She's awesome. She does mosaics and whatnot. So we have, this is mixed media. So she did a collage with different paper to make that. That was done with paper, believe it or not. That amazing artwork, right? And then we have my friend Robert. Robert did this one. Kind of reminds me of where SpongeBob would live with Squidward. Don't tell him I said that. Aw, thank you, Tammy. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I do give a deal for the Girl Scouts. It's only 20 a person to paint with me. So, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And this one, I don't know who this is by. Brush Strokes by Jay. I haven't met him yet, but I've seen his artwork a lot. He does a lot of this 3D stuff, which is really, really cool. So, let me know when you guys are ready for the next step. I'm just having fun here. All right, make sure you're not painting that moon, Lisa. Leave it alone. Julia, Tammy, don't be painting on it. We got Sif. Sif works with uh, resin. Check this out. Look at that cool thing. Right? Tell me that is an amazing look. It has like all this to 3D flower that she made all out of resin really 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 cool yeah the unicorn was a lot of fun all right so we're gonna go on to the next step here so swirl tap dab big boy get them nice and clean and you're gonna need your clean yellow which <laughs> obviously I don't have clean yellow so let me get some clean yellow You like that, right, Magna? That was really cool. Sif did that. So you see Lisa Sifaretto on the comments? That's her work. Sif. We're going to call her Sif because we got Lisa R that paints with us now, too. Really cool stuff, right? So get some clean yellow. Swirl tap dab that big boy. Make sure he's nice and clean, and I hope you have better paper towels than I do. These are those ones that don't absorb for anything, like the Dunkin' Donuts napkins. That's what these paper towels are. So I'm gonna keep like, 
trying to make this absorb my water. <laughs> that's you, that's right, Sith. Magna thinks your flower is awesome. So I'm gonna get all that white out. You wanna get all the white out of that brush, okay? And we're just gonna grab our yellow. Stop it, Sif. We're gonna grab our plain yellow, just plain old yellow. And you're gonna go back over here to where your moon is. And you're gonna paint the plain old yellow on it. And if you stop playing with it when I told you to, this is gonna give you the most awesome glow on this moon. So all it is is I'm taking the plain yellow, I'm using the flat of that brush to follow my, my line and my circle. I'm going in a circular motion and we're gonna get this amazing yellow glow on our moon now just by putting the yellow on top of it. Just like that. Oh, <laughs> I got you, Sif. <laughs> I thought you meant your artwork. <laughs> yes, the paper towels are awful. <laughs> your artwork's amazing. I'm glad we clarified that. <laughs> so this is just plain yellow, guys. Just plain yellow. <laughs> I thought you meant the art. <laughs> oh my God. I need to go home and go to bed, everybody. That's what I need to do. <laughs> All right. So just plain yellow on here. And look at how golden it gets. Look at that nice golden color we get on there, right? And I'm just kind of smushing it around, going in a circular motion. Nothing hard here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna fix my line, make sure I have a nice line going around, right? And just like that, bam! Just like that, we have a nice golden yellow sun. Yeah, hey Lisa, we're gonna have to do something, switch uh, this artwork or something, because me facing this way, people that are walking by can't see what I'm painting. <laughs> That's all right. We'll work out all these kinks and bugs as we go along. This is our first time live at the Track Gallery. What, what? That's what I'm talking about. We'll figure all this stuff out. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Once you have that awesomeness going on, you're going to be working with your red and your messed up yellow and your clean yellow. See on my palette, I have my red that's kind of messed up. I'm fine with that. My messed up yellow from before and my clean yellow. And we're gonna hold big boy flat. Remember us, Ziggy Zaggies? Our Ziggy Zaggies, like when we do our water lines. I know Lisa R loves these. These are her favorite. Okay, so you wanna do these Ziggy Zaggies, right? So you're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab that, uh, the red first, and doing these ziggy zaggies, right? Zigzag zoom, zigzag zoom, right, Magna? You're gonna cut in. See me? Look, all I'm doing is zig and zagging back and forth. Zig this way, zig out. Zig this way zig out okay zig into it zig out and you want these to be thin horizontal lines all right so i'm just i'm going to grab some red and yellow together now and you want to zig in zig out zig in and zig out so with me going like this and holding my brush perpendicular to the canvas I get to do all these fun little zigzags into my moon. Okay, did you guys see that? You hold your brush perpendicular to the canvas. And I'm doing zigzags, which is basically a zig in and you zig out. And you're gonna do these throughout your whole sky 
just grabbing red, red and yellow, just yellow, and you're going to do these zigzags throughout your whole sky. We did border like this. I think it was for the lighthouse. Don't remember, but we did water like this with all different colors. Now, if you like the different variations of color, nice and strong, you can leave it like that. Or you can simply just brush on top of it and soften it out. It's totally your call. And you're just zigzagging back and forth, just the way I just showed you. And you're gonna do this over your whole entire sky just by grabbing red and yellow either separate on your brush together on your brush it's all up to you if you like the separation of color leave it alone if you want it a little softer like Julia likes it you just soften it out all right Lisa well um, you can still fill in like the whole rest of it and then wait for your zags over the moon till later but you could fill in the rest of it because this is the same technique we use for the water lines and I know you don't like those so practice your zigzags in your sky area. This way, when you go to do them into your moon, you know exactly what kind of effect you're gonna get. Okay, see all those different variations of color in there? It comes out really, really cool. Yes, yes, Magna, there you go. I'm so glad you remember stuff. So you're gonna do that zigzagging for the whole rest of your sky. And when you come down here, no worries too much. Like about three fingers off the bottom, that's all gonna be black. So don't bother with that. Don't be bothered with that, all right? And you can also do one of these if you wanna cover a large area. Like in this, I'm holding my brush straight going against my canvas straight and I'm moving my arm so if you don't want to do the zigzag with your hand you can do the zigzag with your arm like that it is all up to you I'm gonna do the zigzag with my arm to fill in the rest of the sky and then when I get to where the moon is I'm going to do the zigzags with my hand. And like I said, it's in and out. You can do it with a little at a time. You can do it really fast like I do. It's all personal preference. You can go really big strokes with your arm like this. So have fun with these guys. And you're just going to use your red and your yellow and play around making all different color combinations with your zigzags. Just using the red and the yellow. However you want it to be. You know what I just learned? I have to be really careful in here because I just splatter paint that way. <laughs> And good thing I knew myself and covered up what was behind me <laughs> because I just shot paint in that direction. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. You want to know it, right? I, I'm very messy when I paint, but my house is so, like, I'm so OCD with my house. You wouldn't even know it. So you're going to have as many of these going over your moon as, as little as you want. I'm, ten, I'm having fun tonight, so I'm doing a lot more than what was on the original picture. So it is all up to you. Like I said, you can go back and forth with your arm. You can do them with your hand. The whole trick is to stay perpendicular and just have back and forth horizontal movement. Movement. Movements, horizontal movements. That's what I'm trying to say. 
Those are the words I'm trying to get out of my mouth. And if you want it soft, you just brush over it very softly. If you like all the separation, just leave it alone. And just like that, you have a harvest moon. Moon, you have a harvest moon. So thank you, Tammy, for sharing that on the Girl Scouts. That was cool. And I lost my music, so I'm going to have to go hit a button. All right. And I'll be back while you guys have... And now the bottom, like I said, I'm not worrying about the bottom. I'm just filling the bottom, like the bottom hand down with color. I'm not really too concerned with it. Because I know the whole rest of the painting, we're going to be doing all our details in black. So I want to get some yellow down there so it looks like it's glowing behind my black details. Remember how I told you Eve's Artistry Insight the one time? You know, pay attention to what your background's going to be. So I am going to definitely put some lighter colors, a lighter yellow down towards the bottom. That way it really glows when I put the black on top of it. All right, see all those details? And that's all by just zigzagging. That's it. Nothing hard here. It's all zigzagging. Thanks, Pat. It is fun. So I just got some, I'm going to be really crazy. I just got some clean red, right? And down here was looking a little too soft peachy for me. So this is straight clean red. And see how I'm doing those zigzags? So you guys can have fun with this. Like, if you let it dry a little bit, you could add more to it and get even deeper colors going on. Clean all those globs out of your brush. You don't want any globs. If you have gloopy, globby, gloopy things going on, right? Globs on your brush, globs on your painting. So we don't want the globs. And now I'm just holding my brush horizontal. Nice thin amount of paint on it. And I'm just taking this straight red I'm doing the arm, keeping the brush stiff, doing the arm, and putting in some deep red ones. Because that's me and Julia's favorite. So, but I better stop because then you're not going to see the moon anymore. <laughs> totally lost my moon in there somewhere. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. I was having a little bit too much fun. So, I'm just going to clean off Big Boy. I'm going to lighten some of this up. Put my moon back in. So... So to lighten this up, since I just lost my moon and it's nice and dry, you can grab just plain old yellow and put it back in a circular motion. See? And then that will make the glow come back for your moon. 
So if you got a little too excited, you can soften some of these out by following the shape of your moon and putting the glow back on top of it. Because we get excited sometimes. It's okay. So this is the most fun part of the painting. Have fun with this. Be creative. I showed you all different ways to do it. All the different zigzags. I showed you once it dries, you can add bold color to it. I also am showing you once it dries, you can put that glow of the moon back in and soften some of these up if you want to. And that's just by grabbing the yellow and going in the shape of my moon in certain spots. See? So some I can leave bold and then see this patch right here and see my moon line. Let me get close up. So you see this patch right here and you see my moon line? I grab just plain yellow. I'm going to find my moon line. And I'm just going to pull in and put the glow back and soften those zigzags up. See that? That's all. Julia, Julia, Magna has a question for you. All right, tell me to stop playing, stop playing. Stop playing, E. Stop playing. I was playing. <laughs> I was playing. So, when you're done, you can have a little bit, like the original, or you can have a big old zigzaggy, fun, crazy, glowing harvest moon. It's all up to you. It's your sky. It's your moon. Do what you want. All right, guys, when you're done with that, you're going to swirl tap that big boy, get all the globs out of him, and we're going to go right to black. We're gonna go right to back black. And we're gonna have Tiny being in the house, and we'll have Mini Me in the house. So, so I'll tap that big boy, get him nice and clean. Get them nice and clean. I am in downtown Tom's River on Main Street. Um, it's the Tom's River Artist Community Gallery, track gallery at 53 Main Street. That's where I'm at. 53 Main Street and Tom's River. That's where all this amazing artwork is. So, I got big boy nice and clean. We're going to go right into black. Just black. You're going to come to the bottom of your painting. Let me move the camera back. Before I start this, how's everyone doing? How you doing, Dustin and Hannah? Dustin and Hannah's focused, uber focused. Lisa, Lisa, how you doing? Megna's, I know, is doing good. Pasha, Tammy, Julia, how you all doing? You doing all right? You ready for this part? Or you want a break?
How's everybody doing? All right, Lisa. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I knew you're going to have fun with this. It's a lot of fun doing this guy. Tammy and Julia are ready. All right. Magna's ready. I know Magna's born ready. And we got Hannah and Dustin. How are you guys doing? All right, so you're going to take just plain black paint on your brush. And you're going to go on the bottom of your painting. And you can hold right here. And you're very simply going to go doing your bottom of your moon. My bottom of your moon. Right, so your corn stalks and stuff are going to come up here. So your ground has to be down below that. So about four fingers from the bottom of your moon, or three, three or four fingers, right? Give yourself a line, because that's where you want your land to be. You don't want it higher than that, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna put a line that way, about four fingers from the bottom of your moon, three or four. Yes, yes, we have a jail right around the corner. And then you're going to give yourself a wiggly line this way. And then you're going to paint the whole bottom of your canvas black. Right? So when you do that line, make sure you do it three or four fingers down from under your moon. And then just fill it all in black. That's all you need to do. Make sure you leave that space to put the details in. And you can have your line be wiggly. Not like crazy wiggly. You don't want it to look like mountains. But it doesn't have to be straight across. Because it's a cornfield. Yes, the Ocean County Jail is right up the street with the courthouse and all of the lawyer's offices, and lots of great restaurants. And we have a theater, Exit 82 Theater, which we're going to be, next week we're gonna be doing the Rocky Horror Show, um, the iconic lips, that, the red, big red lips, that is the iconic symbol for the Rocky Horror Show. We're gonna be doing that for our Friday, Facebook Paint Party Live on location here because our theater, the Exit 82 Theater, that's here on Main Street with us, is doing Rocky Horror Picture Show Halloween drop-ins. What are you so excited about, Lisa? <laughs> I just see this yes going across my screen. <laughs> I don't know what you're so excited about. That cracks me up. All right, if you want to paint your sides with the black, go right ahead. Oh, the lips. Yes, that's what we're doing. The Rocky Horror Picture Show lips. Yes. Yes, you get to make a nice, another, another smirk like you did on the Fashion Girl. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You'll see that. You'll see uh, the posting for that event soon. Okay, so once you have that all colored in for yourself, you're gonna hold big boy right here. You're gonna make sure you have a nice thin amount of paint. You're gonna come one hand in from your side. Put big boy straight up against the canvas and pull down. Just like that. Okay. Nice. I know I watched your video that you put 
on Facebook. It was really cool. So everybody got that, right? So you're going to go about three, four hands in. Holding big boy right around here. Straight up perpendicular canvas. And just pull down. Swoop. Just like that. Make sure you say swoop. It works better. All right. Once you have that in, you can grab paint just on the tip of your brush. See, it's really just on the tip. Not very much at all. You're going to hold back here. Not here. Definitely not here. Control freaks. Right here. And you're going to flick upwards. And you want it to be about the middle of your hole that you just made. Okay? And you're just going to flick straight up. So I'm putting my brush against, and I'm doing a flick. And you're going to do that all in this corner. A little bit of paint on the tip. I'm just going to flick upwards. All you're doing. And you don't want to do too many. You want that glow of the orange to come through. And you want them sort of straight, because corn does grow sort of straight. And you're going to glue this at that height to halfway. So here's halfway. Find your center. Um, go down. You want these that height to about halfway. Whoops. One got a little longer. Is that okay? Of course that's okay. We don't care. Once you get to that halfway mark, you're going to go shorter and shorter and shorter. And you want to leave this whole space open. So take your hand and go sideways in to about here. All right? So take your hand and go this way. Or two hands over this way. Put your line because you want room for your windmill. And that line is literally only a finger big. And you want everything from there to be short and then just get taller as you get to the center. <laughs> You'll get your chance when you get older, Magna. So, and then you make them longer and longer as you work towards the center, right? Now we're going to come over here and we're going to grab more black paint and about a finger or two in, you want to make a black box. And you want the height of that box to be about the same as the corn, the shorter corn, okay? Once you have that black box, you're going to put a little, and the black box is three big boys thick. So one, two, three. And I'm just pulling big boy nice and flat. Don't make it too big because then you can't add the little graveyard and stuff. All your little details at the end. Okay. And then in the center of that box, you want to put a little piece. Just like that. It's very hard to do this sitting down. That's better. 
So on the center of that, you want to do a little piece. Guys, see my tongue sticking out as I'm painting? Okay, once you have that little piece, you're going to do a straight line. And then you're going to make a triangle. So find your center of this piece, right? Go up to about... halfway halfway from the top and the bottom so find your center go up about halfway give yourself a little mark and then you can pull that now see I missed but that's okay I can just try again just like that and then you want to make triangle over on this side And then you're going to fill that in. And I'm using the, the flat of this brush to make my points. If you're not getting really good points using the bigger brush, then you could just do it with the smaller brush. It's all okay. Nothing hard here. So now we got some weird building with a triangle hat. <laughs> That's what we got right there. Alright. So, once you have your weird building with the triangle hat, pull off your globs. And you're going to come out from the center of this weird building... This little point right here, the way we do our flowers, right? Like the arms of a clock. One that way. One this way. One going up. And they don't have to be straight. The more crooked, the better. This is an old rickety windmill. One out that way. And one this way. Okay, once you have those, you're going to give it a friend. You're going to draw another piece close to it. Okay, so once you have those, you're going to give them a friend. You're going to draw another piece right next to it. Oh, happy little friends on this windmill. Happy little friends, just like Bob Ross. <laughs> Sif, I did call Lisa a control freak before. You missed it. <laughs> but you are the ultimate one, Sif. You're definitely the ultimate one. Ultimate one. So, are you painting with me tonight, Sif? Or are you just checking things out? <laughs> Lisa's a bit of a control freak. Amy's not painting tonight. Julie is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Megna, I'm not going to pick on Megna. She's my girl. Posh just joined us for tonight. Hannah and Dustin have fun. They just have fun. So I can't call them control freaks. And Tammy's usually making dinner. So you have to be the only control freak. <laughs> and sometimes Lisa R. I'll call her out. And Amy. But that's about it. Alright. Now let me give him a friend before I forget. There's his friend. Alright. So we drew our square. We draw our little piece in the center of that square. Okay, we're drawing our triangle. We're putting lines out like clock, hands of a clock. Then we're giving them a friend. And then we're saying goodbye to big boy. 
Say goodbye, my baby. <laughs> Lisa's just starting her black stuff now, so there you go. But she watches the replay. So that's good. All right, so we're saying goodbye to big boy. Let's take a break here so everybody can catch up. All right, I'm going to play some loud music. I'm going to take like five minutes so people can catch up with their designs and their blacks and their lines and everything else that they want to do. Because when we come back, we're going to be using the smaller brushes and doing all the little fun stuff. Let me move this closer so you can see what the deal is. And I will be back in a minute. Hi, fam. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Oh, I see lots of hearts and stuff going on. Those are so cute, Magna. All right, all right, all right. It's time for Tiny. Tiny in the house. Now remember, he's not a marker. You have to keep refilling him. And you want to make sure your black is nice and thin. If it's getting goopy, add a little bit of water. Let's bring it on in close. Close up. All right, so we're going to our pole. I'm going to take tiny. I can hold them like a pencil. We're going to come in here. We're going to do a thin little line. on the top of our pole and we're going to turn around and make a little rounded triangle shape and then you're just going to dab because remember he's made out of hay and straw and stuff so he's not going to be like 
It's gonna have, remember when I taught you about texture and just dabbing? We're gonna dab some texture into there. We're gonna go to the top of him and do flicks. Give him his little sprouts. Those are just little flicks. This is awesome. Destin and Hannah, I can't wait to see where you guys add a chihuahua. That's going to be fun. All right? We're going to do a couple little flicks off the side of him. Make him a little rough. Just a little bit of dab, a little bit of texture going on. Okay? We're going to go to where we did that thin line before. And we're going to do flicks outward. Just like that. We're going to come over here now. And we're going to do a straight line across. That way. And that way. Make sure they're about even on both sides. Okay, do another one. Then we're gonna drop this down like that. Curl it in. We're gonna drop this side down like this. Curl it in. We're going to do flicks coming out of the ends of this. Now I know these flicks are fun, but don't go too nutty. These flicks are fun, I know that. All right, I'm gonna fill in here a little bit. I'm gonna wipe the globs off of my brush. No more globs. A little more black paint. We're gonna do an angled line down this way. An angled line down that way. Cut it across. We're gonna do a line out at an angle here. And a lot straight out. Give him a friend. Fill that in. Nice and solid black so you can see it against your corn if you ran into your corn. Your triangular line. Make that thicker. Nice and black. Just like that. The bottom of his leg, you're going to give more flicks. Bottom of this leg, going to give a little couple of flicks. Kind of hard to see. That's okay. Bottom of his shirt. You're going to do flicks. Take the globs off my brush. I'm going to grab my mini me. <laughs> I like that, Magna. 
That's okay. You just make his, his body bigger. That's all. If his head is really big, make his body bigger. Remember when I taught you proportions with the people camping? And we did Eve's Artistry Insight? So if his head is as big as your thumb, you make his body a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take my mini-me here, use him as my crayon, and color in his arms and his body. Use the flat of that mini-me brush. Get a nice sharp line. And it's a scarecrow, he can have a big old head too. Then I'm gonna fill in his body with Mini-Me. Cause he's our crayon Mini-Me, remember? Use the flat of that brush. Now I'm back to tiny. With it all filled in, I'm just gonna add a couple more flicks here and there. I'm gonna add more flicks to the top of his head. Whoa, this dude's got some really crazy hair. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Besides, no no two paintings come out exactly alike. And that's what's amazing about this. And that's why I like when you guys create. Because your style and your fun is going to go into your painting. And that's why I love to look at them. And my painting never comes out the way the first one came out either. Because it's just the way it is with painting. Every single one's going to be an original. And that what makes it awesome Magna so if you got a big-headed scarecrow he's gonna be really creepy compared to mine all right so back to tiny the bird on his sleeve all right very 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 small very small you just do a little egg shape, very small. You put a circle on that egg shape, very small. And you just put a little piece coming out the side for his beak. And then you put a little piece going up for his tail. I've got black blobs of terror on me. All right, my brush is globby, so I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna give it a little swirl tap dab. Clean it off really, 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 really good. And since my head is dry now, and I just cleaned off my brush really, really good, I'm gonna dip this into white paint. Make sure this is dry. And you're gonna go in with the white paint and you can draw his eyeballs. Let me get close up on this. So there's one eyeball. There's another eyeball. I'm gonna do a dot for his nose. And this scarecrow, I'm going to give him a big old smile. 
The other one, I did an O, like a shock face. It's your scarecrow. You can put whatever face on it you want. This guy's gonna have a big old smile. The original had an O. But this guy has some really funky party hair. So I'm gonna give him a big old smile like he's partying. Then I'm gonna come into my cornfield with this white paint. With this white paint on my brush, I'm gonna come into my cornfield and make little white eye shapes. So this is just two ovals. And then over here, make sure when you put these in, they're on top of black. Okay, so you find a black area and you put them in on top of one of your black areas in your cornfield, okay? So you have to make sure it's black all around your white eyeballs. Wipe off my globs. Come over here, see this nice black area I have? So this is, I'm gonna do straight lines and then ovals under that. Make an evil pair. Remember, odds is always best, so it's up to you. Three sets, a set set of three, if you want to do five, however many you want to do. I'm going to come over here and do another set maybe higher because it's black all the way up there. come over here where it's black yeah I'm gonna come over here where it's black maybe do just some round ones so make sure when you put this white in it's black all around the white otherwise it's not gonna look like eyes peeking through the corn Okay, clean off tiny. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Don't clean off tiny, keep the white on there. Because keep the white on there, you can do your doors in your windmill. All right, so I'm gonna come here. This is follow the line where your ground would be. And then with white paint, you can give your door, your windmill a door with the white paint. And then I'm going to come up in this top area and give it a little, like, window. Okay, now we're back over here. And we need the bird swooping down. So the bird swooping down, right? So I'll tap dab your tiny, go back to your black paint. Again, we're holding it like a pencil. We're just drawing all these little shapes. So the bird swooping down. You wanna do a line like this.
And then you want to do a circle at the end of that line. And then you're going to come straight out with a little point there. Then you're going to do a U shape. And then you're going to fill in that U shape. And then you can fill in where the body's going to be a little bit better and put a little piece up for his tail. And just like that, easy peasy, you made a swooping bird. It's swooping, swoop. Clean off my globs. And we're gonna come over here to our windmill. Actually, I wanna bring the windmill closer to me. How's everybody doing out there? We got Dustin and Hannah, Tammy and Julia. Pash is in the house. She's joining us for the first time. Lisa and Magna Christina is watching. Sif is watching, doing her resin stuff. And we're just making creepy little details in a cornfield now. So you want to come over to your windmill. Remember those friends you did? You're going to connect those friends. We're going to connect those friends. And then you're going to fill that in. You don't have to fill it in full. You just put dashes through it. You're just going to put dashes through it. Everybody's doing all right out there? I hope so. I hope so. I think you guys are all having fun because no one's talking to me. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Just ignore the artist. Go right ahead. Pay any attention to me. It's all good. <laughs> all right. And then you want to do a circle. You're gonna do a circle right here. Fill that all in. Now you can come down here. And for your trees, you're gonna hold this in the center. You're gonna put it up against your canvas nice and straight like we do big boy all the time with our trees. And you're gonna come out from your black and just wiggle up. Let it do a little bit of a wiggle. Let it wiggle, Lisa. Let the brush do the wiggle. I'm going to come up. Wiggle. So you just follow what you did and let the brush do the wiggle. And remember, you want your trees to be proportioned, so you just come back down and make your trunk bigger. So let your brush wiggle. I'm holding it straight against the canvas, soft, 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 soft touch, barely touching it, and you just let it wiggle. And now I can go in with my smaller brush and fix my corner, get a nice sharp point on my windmill. All right, so let the brush wiggle, spooky old tree. And then the ghosts were simply a U with some points. Okay. 
And you got your little tombstones. So you can add your little tombstones down there. And the corn stalks. I'm wrapping it up, people. I'm wrapping it up. The corn stalks, very simply, I just took black paint. I went into my taller pieces. I followed along and I did a pull out that way and a pull out this way. That way it looks like a corn stalk. That's all I did. So on some of your random little pieces, you just want to do a pull this way and a pull that way. And this way it looks like corn stalks. That's all you want to do. That's how you get them to look like corn stalks. And the last step I'm going to show you is remember those white pieces we, we drew in? You clean your brush off really, 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 really well. You go into your palette where you have that yellow and red and orange going on all mixed up. You grab some of that loveliness going on. And you go into your white. And you just add the red and yellow color in your white. Just like that. And I do it kind of messy like and then I go back in with the, the black and cover over anything that I might have went out of the lines. Go figure me. Go out of the lines. <laughs> Not me. I don't do that. I don't paint like that, do I? So you're going to fill all these in with the sky colors if you want to. So I'm finishing up here. If there's anything you'd like me to show you that was part of the details of the original one, let me know. I'll show you, but I think I should stop and let you guys get creative with your own cornfield. Once I filled in those colors, I went in with my black and just gave little dots for the eyes. So there's my eyes in my field. And I'm just going to put a black dot to make the eyeballs. And that's it, guys. So, if there's any other little details you'd like me to show you, ask me now before I close up shop. I'm going to keep painting a lot. I have this one piece of hair that's just sticking out like that. <laughs> Um, let me know if there's any other little details you might want to see that I didn't show you, but I want you to create. I want you to have fun. This is all tiny. It's black paint. All the parts where it was white, you put the sky colors in. Not a big deal. And I want to give you a little bit of ease artistry insight. What I want to tell you, my fam, is very, very important. It's not a trick or anything like that, but it is something that is going to help you tremendously. With art, the more you the more you paint, the better you're going to get. You guys have gotten amazing just painting with me for this long, so that is super super cool. I don't expect you to have anything perfect. I don't expect you to have anything like I'm doing because it's your creation. What I want you to remember is don't be too hard on yourselves. I've been painting for like 30 years. I've been painting for longer than Magna and Julia's been alive. Mwah. So, next time you're feeling frustrated and a little hard on yourself, close your eyes. Stop painting first. Close your eyes. Remind yourself how many paintings you've done. Remind yourself that you've only been painting for a little while. And then relax a little and open your eyes and look at how amazing you all are actually are and that's the truth so that's why you guys need to constantly create that's why I tell you to go create at the end of my video so that's ease artistry insight for you 
you get better when you, as long as you keep practicing and you keep playing and you keep having fun with it. And sooner or later, before you know it, you're doing these amazing things with art. Just look at your artwork that you've done with me so far and how amazing all of you have gotten. So, I just wanted you to remember that. Lisa needs the windmill. Here you go, babe. There's your windmill. Alright guys, so I'm going to go back to this and keep playing. I'm going to show you the final one that has all the tiny little details in it, so maybe you need some ideas. And I just want to thank everybody, my whole family out there, for watching me again tonight. It was very exciting to do it from the gallery. We will be here every Friday night at 7. Replays are always available. Um, Dustin, Hannah, Tammy, and Julia, Megna. Pasha's new to our fam. Hello, hello. Lisa. Sif, Christina, who is watching with us, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching me. And everybody on the replay, thank you, you too. It's free to watch. Gratuity is appreciated. Share with your friends. Go create. All right? I love you. Warm my heart. Okay, you want me to go in here? There you go in here. I'll go in here so you can see all the stuff around the windmill. You added a bat and a witch in the sky. I absolutely love it, Magna. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is so awesome. I can't wait to see them all. As always, of course, I made us place in the event. Make sure you post your paintings. I want to see. sweetheart. See you next week.
No worries, Sif. All good. You sure can, Lisa. I'm gonna turn them sideways so you can see them. They're sideways, but now you can see them. Maybe if I turn it this way. Hold up. I never said I was good with a camera. <laughs> Just give me one second, Lisa. I will give you your eyeballs. <laughs> There you go. They're sideways, remember.
Good night, Tammy. Good night, Julia. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, Hannah. Good night, Dustin. Bye, guys. Lisa, you need anything else? Let me know. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much, Tammy, for sharing that on the Girl Scouts. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing all the time. Thank you so much. And everything in this gallery is made from midgets because I am really tall. And everything here is really short. <laughs> Have a good night. Great night, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Eve, Eve's Creations Paint Party. I will see you all next week. You want a whole pick, you got it. You got it, Lisa. There you go, babe. There you go. You guys are so welcome, Hannah and Dustin. Thank you so much for joining me. You are my favorite married couple. My favorite. Mwah. Love you guys. Can't wait to see where you put the chihuahuas. You're so welcome, Lisa. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thanks again, everybody, for watching me. I will see you all next time. Have a great night. Thank you.